Hey guys, welcome back. Um, man, these projects just keep coming. We're working on the SVO today. Uh, it's an 84 SVO, 2.3 turbo. And we've got several projects going on here. First is, keep having problems with O2 sensors going out. And this is my third one. These are like 60, 70 bucks a pop from Stinger. But I don't think the problem is the, the sensor. It's really the location of it, which brings me to the, this part we got. Oh, let's see, turn that up right way. We got this part from Vibrant Performance where it allows me to move the uh, O2 sensor out of the pipe. So it's not directly in line of the pipe. So moisture builds up in the pipes and uh, one theory is it ruins O2 sensors. I really think that's what's going on because I get tons of moisture out my tailpipe. So we're gonna try this guy. Uh, so we're gonna work on this. The other thing we've got from LMR are some electronic door locks. Uh, so we got two of these. If time allows, we're going to fix the, the doors as well. So I think this is one of my problems here is, could be my bad welds, but <laughs> no, it's, this is coming in uh, horizontally or parallel to the pipe. Wow, bad video. And these things are supposed to be tipped up in the air coming down into the pipe. And I've got mine mounted 90 degrees and it should be more like 120 or so. You also see the carbon. I mean, I just cleaned this thing the other day, trying to clean it up. So I'm running really rich. I'm going to be talking to someone shortly about tuning this car for me over the internet. But uh, I've got to get this all loose, and then we got to go up into the cabin and disconnect it uh, from the the uh, controller, the Spartan 2 controller. So one of the steps we got to do first is extend this wire because the one that comes from Stinger uh, is not long enough to go into the cabin. So you can see all my tape. We're gonna pull this down and extend it, but I'm also gonna work on the mount here first before I go up into the cabin. All right, so what we're gonna be doing is, I bought this part from Vibrant Performance over Amazon, and it's a substantial looking piece. Most of the stuff on Amazon look really, really cheap, but this thing, when I got it, you know, it looks pretty heavy duty. In many uh, import cars, or actually any car, when you eliminate the Cadillac converter, a lot of times there's an O2 sensor in front of the converter and after the converter. And the computer monitors the readings on both of those O2 sensors, expecting to see a voltage difference coming from the different O2 sensors uh, as the gases flow through the catalytic converter. Well, when you take the cats out, now those O2 sensors are going to have a very close reading and the computers will throw uh, you know, a code. Uh, so guys, what they'll do is they'll install this piece put one of these really limited flows, uh, these limiters in the end of this, put that after the Cadillac converter where the, after the cat used to be, and now the, the O2 sensor after the cat shows a lower voltage or higher voltage. I don't remember which one it was, but um, so it kind of tricks the computer into thinking that you have a Cadillac converter. Well, in my case, I'm not running a cat. This is an old car. I don't have to have emissions checked. Um, so we're not going to install these. We're just going to use this piece uh, and use it to relocate and mount upward the O2 sensor so I can get rid of the condensation issue. So I just test fit this and it kind of fits good. Uh, as you can see, it's a little bit close to the transmission. So the best tip upward I can get is about, about right there, but I don't want the, the wire hitting the transmission if it gets hot. Uh, so as you can see, I don't know if you can see from this angle better, it is tipping up, which is the effect I'm looking for. So I think we're gonna be, gonna be okay. Now what's cool about this is you can get it where you want and then tighten this piece uh, independently of where you mount it. So that's kind of a cool feature with this. Uh, overall, I'm happy with the way that this is gonna mount. So now we're gonna do the rewiring to extend the O2 sensor wires 
and this job should be pretty close to being done. So now we got to take the center console out. Uh, the good thing is, I know I've been kind of working on this on and off and on and off, and so whenever I put my center consoles back in, I only put the two back screws in and then a couple front screws so that this thing just literally pops right out. Like that piece I just lifted out because I don't even bolt it in. Uh, I never even get rattles or anything, so uh, you'll see that this piece here just lifts right out. So I, I do cheat a little bit because I know I'm taking these cars uh, apart all the time. So let's let's pull this out and then I'll be able to disconnect the, the wire. One thing I almost forgot is the last time I did this, I went ahead and relocated uh, the wire here so I can quickly disconnect uh, as needed. But I'll probably still have to lift it up because I'm running the wire right up under the, uh, the shifter flange. So we'll have to lift this up uh, or unbolt the, the shifter boot to get this out. The other little trick is I try not to take the plugs out of the back of that because they can be a real pita to get back in. So I usually lift it up and switch it one, one side or the other. And uh, now I can quickly get at those, these bolts uh, so I can pull this wire out. All right, so I, I had to take these two bolts all the way out to get a good enough lift. And I'm just going to drop this down through there. And I'm going to put the car back on the lift it back up in the air, uh, pull it out, and now we're gonna rewire the O2 sensor. All right, so you can see here on the bench, the problem I got is, this is a new one, and that's about how much more length I need to get this uh, up into the cabin. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna cut this end off, right about right there, cut this off up here towards the top, probably about right here, and uh, we're gonna Frankenstein these things together. So these are my cutters. I just clipped Each side. There's my cable. There's my cable Now what I'm gonna do is I want to save this coating So I'm gonna use uh, my flat razor blade and very carefully I'm gonna slice up the side of this and same down here but I'm just gonna peel it open and pull it back. I don't want to actually lose that so uh, I can put this back over the wires and then as I tape back around it it's going to be protected, so or at least a little more protection. But I don't like to, to get rid of this, so we're going to peel this back, and then I'm going to splice the ends of each of these wires, and we're going to use butt connectors to reassemble this. So my other recommendation for you guys when you're doing electrical work, a pair of dollar store readers. I promise you, when you are looking down at these wires, man, everything just pops. It's like HD vision uh, when you have a pair of these. Uh, I don't need a prescription or anything, but I have a problem close up because I'm in my 40s. But man, just a cheap little dollar store pair and everything just comes to life. So especially around wiring, I always have a pair handy. Now we have a completed cable, ready to go. And uh, we're gonna drop this down. I believe I'm gonna drop the O2 sensor down through the interior uh, and then plug this up. Bolt this in, put the center console back in and we should be operational uh, and this job should be done and we can move on to probably the door locks next. All right, so we're just gonna route this literally back down the center. We're gonna plug this back into the Spartan. The cool part about the lift, it's like, hey, I just did something in the interior, now I need to go to the underside. And then we're crawling around on the cold concrete. You gotta get one of these. All right, just gotta watch that metal piece hanging down at the garage door. So here's one thing, I probably didn't need to extend this as long as I did. I mean, it's clicked in up top. And I've got a lot of excess wire at this point. Uh, but I, I keep thinking that I'm gonna move this one day from here closer up to the turbo. Uh, so I like to have a little extra wire to work with rather than not enough. So I'll just loop this around, I'm gonna zip tie it. All right, so I've got it mounted up. 
As you can see, it's a little close to the transmission. Now we're gonna zip tie this wire out of the way. So it's not quite a problem. I may pull some back in the interior at some point, but it's just, we'll get it safe. So I've got my, my heater running. So you gotta ignore that. Hopefully you can hear me. But uh, just to finish this up, this cable is wrapped in like a fiberglass cover. So I'm, I think it's gonna be okay. But I put some foil tape around it. Some 3M stuff from Lowe's. I uh, wrap this up just to be safe. So I think this job is done overall. And uh, we're gonna fire the car up and see what the result looks like. All right, so we're running our test to see if our O2 sensor is gonna work or not. Fingers crossed. there. We've got a reading. A little on the rich side when it warms up. Uh, it's one of the things we're going to work on with the tuner. I can't seem to always get that right. All right, we're going to now bolt this all back up and head on to the door locks. So we got a couple things done today. The O2 sensor set up with the defouler. I got that installed, that is working good. And pretty much, uh, oh, and one thing I didn't do was the stereo faceplate yet. That's the little project that keeps getting put on the back burner. Uh, so I have to keep trying a couple more times uh, before that one gets finished. And then this week I'm gonna research uh, how the door locks are wired, but probably what I'm gonna do is buy a door lock, most likely out of a junker, if I can find one. And uh, get that all wired in and then troubleshoot from there. My guess is if I get a really good working switch, all the electrical issues should be resolved because the wiring looks like it's in good condition. Uh, I'm just missing the switch uh, that, to uh, finish the circuit so we can lock and unlock the doors. So it's coming along, a lot of little things uh, to do on this car, it just kind of like never stops. One of the bigger issues I'm also dealing with is uh, an oil leak. I believe it's coming off my oil drain lines. Uh, the little coupling that I engineered doesn't seal properly. So I still got that. I've got a lot of oil drips on the front of this car that I've got to, got to get cleaned up. A uh, couple other things we're going to do is TPS sensor, IAS sensor, and electronic boost control. I was hoping to hit those things today, but um, yeah, I kind of got sidetracked. So we'll come back to that. And what else? Yeah, anyway, something else will happen. But anyway, I don't make a lot of these videos, but uh, when I do, I just try to help other people. So like and subscribe and uh, keep following me. I'll just leisurely pace, put some stuff out there for you guys. Have a good one.